everyone, welcome to today's video. Um, as you can see on my board today, we're gonna be focusing on cream products. And I wrote that in not a straight line, so sorry. I ha kind of been getting a lot of questions just in general about how to use cream products, because um, I think there seems to be like kind of this idea that cream products are harder to work with than powder products. And I'm here to tell you that is not necessarily the case. Um, if you can figure out how to use cream products, I actually think they're easier than powder products in some ways because they're easier to manipulate on your skin. It's easier to cover up um, if you've made any mistakes. And yeah, I'm here to kind of show you just in general how I use all of these cream products. One of the things that I wanted to say first though is that you can kind of tell the product lineup that I have in front of me is a little bit more of a treat yourself type of deal. I'm going to do a very soft, kind of sweet type look today, um, just to match with the holidays. Um, and then in that sense, really just use some luxury products that I might not normally feature on this channel. For the tutorial today, I'm going to be doing one side of my face with brushes and then the other side of my face with a makeup sponge. This is a beauty blender. Um, so you can kind of really see the different applications with cream products. You can see that you really can achieve everything that you're looking for in a look with the tools that you have on hand. So let's go ahead and get started. So I've already moisturized my face. I have eye cream on and we'll start with two primers. So the first one I'm gonna start with is the YSL Top Secrets Instant Matte Pore Refiner. And this one I'm really going to put just in the center of my face where I tend to have just a lot of pores and I'm trying to keep it pretty matte with this look. Um, actually, no, I'm actually going for more of a glowy look, but just in the center of my face, I wanna keep the shine at a minimum. just it, exactly where I get, I tend to get oily during the day. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, a product that I definitely love, and I'm going to go ahead and place this right on the points of my face where I just want a little bit more glow. And just down the center of my nose. And I'm gonna go ahead and take a brush on this side, beauty blender on that, and I'm just gonna tap it in so it blends in smoothly. And hopefully you can already see that it gives my skin this nice sheen to it. And then on the other side, we'll go ahead and go in with the beauty blender, same thing, and just blend it in. So now that my face is more or less primed, we'll go in with foundation. So I'm going in with the MAC Face and Body Foundation. This is something that's going to last pretty long through the day. Um, it's not going to move around too much, but it's a really, really light foundation, and I just like using it to even out my skin tone first, and then I go back in with a heavier foundation to kind of layer up where I feel like I may need it. So I'll take this on the back of my finger and just swipe that on. Go in with that same brush. And really smooth it in. And then on the right side of my face, I'm going to dip into my foundation and apply it that way with the Beauty Blender. Now we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of coverage with the Hourglass Vanish Foundation Cream Stick. And I'm going to apply this, you betcha, right where I feel like I want to cover up a lot of my pores, a lot of my redness, which is kind of just on the center of my face. Really just take that and allow for this product to help me in a way use a little bit less concealer and use something that's still a foundation. So just smoothing that in. And 
really trying to stick to the center. Like, like it's almost like there's a line down here. I want to make sure that this is on the brush side and this is on the beauty blender side. But I feel like the nose is just going to be like Switzerland where whatever product I get to first or whatever tool I use first, I'll just go in with that. Okay, and then blending the cream product out with a beauty blender. So hopefully you're able to see that no matter what tools you have on hand, you can really make um, any of these makeup products work for you. Okay, I'm pretty happy with how my base is looking now. Covered up a lot of that redness. And yeah, let's, so I'm gonna do things a little bit different today. We're gonna finish off like the entire complexion first and then we'll move, we'll move over to eyes. So I'm gonna take two concealers here. This is the Tom Ford Emotion Proof Concealer, which I think is entertaining to use like around Valentine's Day because it's emotion proof. Uh -huh. uh, in the color 7 Tawny and 5 Bare Beige. And we'll get to concealing my under eyes because they're looking a little bit rough. I may not actually need to use the darker shade because I'm actually looking pretty pale these days, I would have to say. And we're just buffing this in. So as you can see with the with the brush, I'm really kind of tapping, tapping it in, and then just buffing out the edges so that it's really, really seamless. Whatever's left over on my brush, I'm just kind of tapping it into my eyelid as well to get rid of the redness and the a little bit of, it looks pretty sallow sometimes, so. Okay. And then on the other side, taking the Beauty Blender and really kind of just blending that in. And I'm, I'm squeezing the tip of my Beauty Blender so I can really kind of get up in there. Oops, I just touched that side of my face. <laughs> now let's get into the cream like complexion products. So I'm gonna start with the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate in Intensity One. You can tell that I very clearly love this. Ooh. You can tell that I very clearly love this product. It has been used. Um, this is a fantastic highlight if you're looking for something that's going to give you that really really pretty pretty glossy look and then the shade color is just absolutely stunning it's easy to blend it's pigmented if you're looking for something that's a good cream bronzer i would definitely go with something like this i'm going to take this on a flat brush and just going to pick up a tiny bit of product here you can see kind of like that and i'm going to start defining my cheekbones and my face so just taking it up here and I kind of already know where my cheekbones are so I kind of know where that placement is going to be but I'm really using this to just define and because I have not the world's greatest jawline I'm going to take it here as well and then just a little bit on my forehead and I'm going in with a relatively light hand because with cream products, you have the luxury of being able to build and build and build. Um, so I don't want to go too heavy at first. And then I'm going to use the foundation brush that I was already using. Um, it already has product on it, so I really like using this to buff out my complexion products because I feel like it just kind of helps, helps it blend into the skin really, really well. So I'm just taking this and just kind of tapping over. Okay. And you can kind of see, so when I look straight forward, you can kind of see that you're starting to see those cheekbones come out. For me, I like a little bit of a heavier bronzer look, so I'm actually gonna go back in with my brush and grab just a little bit more product here and really kind of 
get in there and define it. Going back in. Okay, and now on the Beauty Blender side, so this time I'm going to take my Beauty Blender and I'm going to actually dip it into the product to pick that up and apply directly to my face. So you can kind of see, it's on the back here. The jaw. Why do, why do people wear earrings? I don't, I don't know how to do this. <laughs> okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take that tip side of it and I'm just gonna lightly start really blending it in. So I think my face looks pretty even. I'm gonna take my mirror and just look a little bit. It's actually looking a little bit heavier on this side, so I'm going to blend a little bit more. But it's not too bad. It's looking pretty even. I like that. Okay. So we'll set this product aside. If we need to come back and revisit it, we always can. Uh, but we're gonna move on with liquid blushes. So these are the Ciate Dewy blushes. I talked about these in my January product review and now I get to show you how I apply them. So I'm going to take the color Papaya. I'm going for something that's a little bit more fresh, a little bit more sweet today. And I'm gonna squeeze that onto my palette here, just a tiny, tiny bit. And for this, I'm actually going to take my finger and grab that, so you can see it, it's pretty pigmented. And I'm gonna tap that on, on the brush side. All right, so this is the part, I think, where everyone gets a little bit alarmed with cream products, right? You, you apply it to your face and you're immediately like, oh, what have I done? It's so pigmented and it's so pink. Well, never fear, that's why you have these tools. So I'm gonna take the foundation brush again and I'm just gonna lightly tap over it. And you can see, when you have a really, really good cream product, it kind of just melts into your skin. And you can see that I just applied that blush in 10 seconds. If I wasn't rambling, it would have been a lot faster. But you can see that like I just lightly tapped it on, lightly diffused it with a brush, went over it a couple of times, and we're good. We're looking blushy, we're looking dewy, my color has kind of returned. So when you put on foundation, especially something that's a little bit heavier, kind of like this cream foundation that I used from Hourglass, you're really taking the color, the natural color out of your skin. So the whole idea of putting all of these products back on is that you're bringing forth those colors again. And that's exactly what a cream product like this is really going to do for you. And for me, actually, even just looking forward, I actually think I could use a tiny, tiny bit more. So I'm just gonna take it on the back of my finger again and I'm gonna place it just a little bit further back on my cheek. Why not look like I'm slightly sunburnt? That's kind of the look that I'm going for. I'm just gonna take a little bit over my nose. Also, what's the back of your finger? Front of my finger. Front, the front of my back finger. Back of your finger now. Hey. Yeah, that's a good point. And on the other side with the Beauty Blender side, I'm actually going to go in with the sponge straight into the product here. You can see where it's placed and right onto my cheek. I'm feeling pretty happy with both sides. So you can kind of see on the Beauty Blender side that just by picking up the product on the back of the sponge and then lightly diffusing it out really allowed for me to control where it goes on my cheek and then just using the same tool allowing it to diffuse out. So I think we're looking pretty balanced here and I want to go in with highlight now. So I have two different products for that. Um, we could either use the Hollywood Flawless Filter um, to go back in with a highlight, or we can go in with the Hollywood Beauty Light Wand. This is a, actually, this is a very, very nice uh, liquid highlight. 
We're going to apply the Hollywood Flawless Filter first as our first touch up highlight and then I'll reassess after I've applied it to see if I want to add a little bit more because you know me, I do love the highlight. So just kind of tapping it on here. And make sure that I grab the right product. Brush. Tap, tap, tap. And you can really see I am literally using the same brush that I started with for foundation all the way until now. So this is actually really nice too if you don't want to use too many different tools to apply your makeup. Going in on this side with the sponge. Really allowing that to diffuse in. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I want a little bit more. So I'm going to use the highlighter. And for this, I'm gonna go straight onto just the tops of my cheekbones. Really kind of dotting it on here. I'm going to take it just down the center of my nose for a little bit of a highlight. I want all of the glow. All of the glow. Okay. And this time I'm going to go in with my fingers to diffuse this instead of a brush. So you can see too, you don't even if you don't have brushes or a beauty sponge, you can always use your fingers to apply cream products and they will diffuse just as beautifully. Okay, and that is pretty much the cream application. I am gonna take the slightest amount of powder just underneath my eyes where I have that concealer lay down because I don't want it to crease throughout the day. So we'll take hourglass, the hourglass ambient powder here. Tap that out. Because again, really, really light powder, not looking to cover up any of the shine, any of the natural glow that I have on my skin. And generally when I'm applying powders, I don't tend to use the Beauty Blender. I like to use a brush. Beauty Blenders are really great for if you're trying to bake underneath the eyes and you really want like a, uh, a very dense application of powder, but this is not that day. So really, really light dusting here. And I'm carefully applying this powder and making sure that I don't touch any of the cream products that I've laid down because I just I don't want to touch that I don't want to powder over it I just want to powder the areas where I don't want any creasing or any excessive oil to come through and now let's move on to eyes so for eyes I actually have two products here that I'm going to use these are both cream products as well um, but before I do that I wanted to do my eyebrows first I'm going to speed this part up but at least that way you can kind of see what I'm doing and how I apply them uh, going in with my Tom Ford <laughs> Tom Ford brow sculptor in the color to taupe Toby McGuire mm.
So next, let's do eyes. I'm going to use Tom Ford's Cream and Powder Eye Color in Golden Peach along with, this is actually their glow stick and this was, I think this was limited edition, but it's technically for your face. I'm going to use this as an eye product because I want to use this deeper shade. It's so pretty as kind of a way to define and blow out the golden peach color that I place first on my lid. And this is the part where I'm going to cheat a little bit. So we're going to abandon the Beauty Blender uh, makeup sponge idea. When I apply these cream products on my right side of the face, I'll use my fingers instead of a brush so you can kind of see that it's, you can do this a very similar application, but again, just with different tools. So grabbing a brush for the golden peach cream shadow. Take this, just diffuse a little bit on my hand to really get a smooth application here. And let's go. I absolutely love this cream shadow. If you are looking for a cream shadow and you are kind of willing to pay um, at a little bit of a higher price point, I would definitely recommend the Tom Ford. I just think that he does cream shadows almost better than anyone on the market. And I really have yet to find anyone who can replicate his, that sort of gel-like uh, texture and, and do it well. So that would be my recommendation. I'm going to use a cream, uh, a crease brush. This is the Luke Soft Definer 227 Zoeva brush. And I'm just going to grab the product straight onto the brush here. And we're going to use this to define my eye. So you can see that it adds just a tiny amount of depth. I'm lightly tapping it into my crease. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a clean brush and just diffuse on top. Okay. And that's a super, super soft, peachy, rosy, very, very simple for Valentine's Day if you're looking for a simple look to do. And now I'm going to do the same thing on my right side, but use my fingers as my application tools. Uh, we had a little bit of a skip with the memory card, so in case we missed a, a chunk of it, I'm using my ring finger to dip into the cream shadow to pick that up and just lightly diffusing it on the back of my hand so that I get a very, very smooth application when I transfer it over to my eye. And the nice thing about using your fingers to apply cream shadows is that you can kind of see in the last, um, on, my, on, my, on my last eye, <laughs> on my left eye, what I needed to do was I went in with a clean brush to diffuse kind of that harsh line on top. When you apply cream shadows with your finger, you're kind of already diffusing it. So I don't think I'm going to need to go back in and try and diffuse this anymore. It already kind of has that nice light blended into my crease look. And that is really, really lovely. Okay. And now going in with the deeper shade. Still using the same finger. I tend to always just use my ring finger. It, it, out of all of your fingers, this is the weakest one. So when you're tapping in products, it generally speaking does a really nice job uh, just diffusing everything out. And I'm going to place this right at the edge, similar to how I used it to define this eye. I'm doing the same, just with my fingers. Okay. 
and I'm not really dragging the product or anything like that. I'm lightly tapping and allowing for the product to build up on its own. Because the more that if you drag it, then you end up dragging away all the color that you just placed down, which you don't want to, you want to just build on top. I think we're done with the cream eyeshadow portion of the look. I'm going to define my eye with the Tom Ford Eye Defining Pencil in the color 3 Metallic Mink. So because I want this to be a bit of a softer eye, I'm going in with a brown color instead of my normal black, just to keep everything kind of soft and romantic. And the eyes are pretty softly defined at this point. So this is where you can make a choice on to whether or not you want to apply more cream shadow on your lower lids to kind of help open your eye. I'm going to go ahead and do it, uh, but you don't necessarily have to. This is just a step that I personally enjoy. So using the Tom Ford Cream Eyeshadow again, just taking it on the back of a very, very small detail brush I'm going to place this on my lower lash line just for a touch bit more of color. And just to keep the eyes pretty bright, I'm going to take the other side of this brush and I'm going to go in with my highlighter shade and I'm just going to take a teensy bit of this on the back. Technically, the more hygienic way would be to put it on my back, the back of my hand. Pick that up. And just apply this into the corner, inner corner of my eye. You can use this, you can do this as well with your finger And that is pretty much the eye look. I'm going to apply mascara and I will be right back. So the mascara that I use today is the Tom Ford Emotion Proof Mascara. This is fantastic if you're looking for a waterproof mascara that's going to give you maximum volume and maximum definition. Every time I use this mascara, I'm just totally and completely blown away with it. Of course, given the title Emotion Proof, we know that it's also a waterproof mascara. So I don't use this on a regular basis just because I find waterproof mascaras are a little bit just tough on your lash health. And for those of you that are like me and you don't have really, really a long set of lashes already, um, just using a waterproof might be a little bit too much on a regular wear. But if you're looking for something um, that's going to stay on your eyes, give you that definition, and if you tend to cry, um, this is a really, really good option. So let's set down my face with the Hourglass Veil Soft Focus Setting Spray, and then we'll move on to lips. For lips today, we're going to be just using two simple products. This is the Pat McGrath Labs uh, Permagel Ultra Lip Pencil in the color Buff, and then I'm going to be using Tom Ford's Lip Spark in the color Commando. Just lightly lining the lips.
going in with the lip color. This is one of my favorite lipsticks. I just think it's so much fun because of the amount of sparkle. I think you can see that in the video. Yeah, you can just see as I turn it, it really is very sparkly. It's just super fun. And I think that's one of the things about Valentine's Day, right? Like it's an opportunity to have some fun too with your makeup. So I'm going this on. And that is the final look for today. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope after this video you aren't afraid of cream products. Just be aware that when you play with cream products, your hands will ultimately end up looking like this because you'll just be, there will be a lot of kind of back and forth and moving the products around, diffusing it on your application tools, etc., etc. But again, I hope this video was helpful. Um, if nothing else, this is the look I plan on wearing for this year's uh, Valentine's Day. And yeah, uh, with all of these products, again, I know that they are more on the luxury side of things. If you're, there are certainly drugstore options, so if you would like those, certainly hit me up in the comments and I will make sure that I respond there on what I would recommend. So yeah, if you liked this video, please feel free to subscribe to our channel and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Garrett keeps calling me out on all of the phrases that I say over and over again. Start keeping score here. I'll give you a grade at the end. You're giving me a grade at the end? Yes. I don't know how I feel about this. Asian fail. <laughs> anything, anything except go in. I don't. Just, uh, we're gonna apply. We're gonna take this. Oh man. God, I, I need a new cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> One who's less critical. What was that? I don't know. I put my elbow down and just went. And. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. And. <laughs> I'm just gonna... It's gonna be the longest episode ever. Uh, I wouldn't have how long if you weren't like making fun of me.